morning everyone it is sunday the 25th of february i know i look like some kind of evil cartoon character right now don't i but it is that time again where i am just fomenting my brows because did i do them a week ago or was it two weeks ago i'm trying to keep on top of doing them a bit more regularly because they just look so blooming good when i do actually do them so i'm going to be taking this off in a minute the boys have just gone out we were supposed to be going out as a family today because my little boy wanted to go ride his bike and i thought that was a brilliant idea it's beautiful 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 outside today it's really blue and gorgeous and the last few days have actually been a complete treat in that respect it's been beautiful weather although really really cold but my husband got back from taking the dog for a walk and he said it's too cold out there he's not gonna last because if you're in the UK or if you've heard the news we're due to get some crazy Siberian wind or something for this whole week and there's snow forecast like pretty much everywhere so it's going to be a really interesting week for the end of February I think. So instead what they've done is they've gone to visit my father-in-law because I don't think I mentioned this to you guys. I, I really am not sure. It's funny when I pick up the camera to do like vloggy stuff I kind of forget what I've already mentioned. But he's got heart problems and he's going in for a double or triple heart bypass um, at the very beginning of March. Not actually sure if they've decided which they're going to do yet. So they've gone to visit him because I think he's obviously feeling a bit miserable. And I take too long to get ready, plus I had some stuff to do anyway. So I've stayed home. And yeah... You're probably not able to take me seriously at all right now, are you? Because I don't think I would be able to, looking at this absolutely ridiculous situation. But I've got the camera all set up because after I've wiped all this off, I'm going to be filming some swatches for... And can I pick them all up? Just about. These are all the different shades of Lancome Tent Idole that I've got. And it's very exciting. So... I will be swatching those on my face in a minute just so that you guys will be able to see what they look like next to each other because I don't think I've ever had so many shades of a foundation before in my life in one go and particularly a high-end foundation so yeah it's really exciting. Anyway I'm going to stop talking and remove the cartoon brows. Hopefully they will look okay, you'll find out in the swatch cutaway of my Lancome update video because I am literally going to be wiping my brows off, doing the swatches, washing the swatches off and then putting my regular makeup on. So you'll be able to see the before and the after of how this is going to look once I've washed it off. I'm really hoping it's going to be okay. Anyway, I will catch up with you guys a bit later on. Hi everyone, I just thought I'd quickly jump on to show you these swatches whilst I've still got them on my cheek and I've not wiped them off. These are all of the Lancome Tent Idole swatches that I've just done for my update video and you can probably see that one of the swatches barely shows up on my skin and I think that is probably going to be the shade for me. I can't quite point out where it is because I can't see where all the lines of the different ones are but I think it's 010 which is beige porcelain or porcelain however you want to say it and that's the one that I was leaning towards probably getting. I think that one's more for a cool undertone which is what I believe I am and I've just taken a load of pictures and you just can't even see it showing up against my skin tone. So that's the one that I'm going for. The only frustrating thing is some of these swatches I don't think translate on camera to how oxidised they are because they've been sat on my skin for a while. I'm trying to show you guys how much they oxidise and I don't think it's really going to show how much they have actually oxidized, which is frustrating. Some of them have really dramatically changed. So I'll see what I can do with the footage that I've got um, to try and show it as best I can, but it is quite tricky. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you because I think I've actually decided which is my color.
So it is the second to last day of the month. It's absolutely freezing. I'm recording this on my phone and I have no idea how much space I've got left on here. Chances are it's not very much at all. But, oh my God, it's so cold, it's making my eyes water. I'm just having my lunchtime walk around the park just to try and burn some calories. And I'm still very awkward when it comes to talking to the camera whilst kind of vlogging. Um, but there's not really many people around because it's freezing. So, just walking along by the canal. It's very pretty. Well, it will be more pretty when um, there's actually flowers and stuff out. It's incredibly cold. I think it was minus six when we got in the car this morning. But yeah, there's all daffodils ready to come out. So hopefully they will be out soon. And it's going to be an absolute pleasure to walk around here in uh, the spring and summertime on my lunch break because this is no distance from work. And honestly, how nice is this? I'm amazed my phone hasn't told me it's run out of, uh, of space and my hand is freezing. So I'm going to end this little segment here and I will speak to you again probably tomorrow on the last day of February. It's crazy. Hi everyone. So it is Wednesday. Yeah, I actually had to check my phone then. Wednesday the 28th of February. So it is the last day of February. It's freezing, although we don't have any snow here. Although my mum has just called because she was due to come up today and there is snow in Plymouth, which is kind of around where she is. And she's a bit worried about driving out here because um, we are pretty remote where we are. So I don't blame her. Um, she obviously doesn't want to get stranded. So she's going to stay put for probably a couple of days because Technically, I don't think the southwest was supposed to have much snow yet. I think we're getting the majority of it tomorrow. Everyone else in the UK has had a lot of snow, particularly up north, which is quite normal. Um, us southerners don't tend to get very much, particularly in the southwest. We don't tend to get very much at all. Um, it's absolutely freezing, but it's dry. The sky is beautiful and blue. It's absolutely gorgeous today and it has been the last few days. But yeah, tomorrow we're supposed to be getting some snow in the southwest. So that's very exciting. But because today is the cutoff for my monthly highlights, you're going to have to wait until March's highlights video to see whether it did actually snow. Unless, of course, it snows later on today. Who knows? Anyway, I don't really have time to chit chat because it's five past eight. Why is it the time goes really quick in the morning? I'm obviously not working today. It was my short week at work. We don't just have the preschool run today. I actually have to take the boy to the doctors before preschool. So like I said, I really don't have time to chit chat, but I wanted to just tell you about a couple of things first. So you might have seen steam, I don't know, coming up on the camera and thinking, what am I holding? Oh, I'm totally addicted to this. I don't think I've mentioned this at any point. Um, I've been drinking spearmint tea for just over a week um, because of there being some quite specific medical benefits to drinking it. Oh my God, it's so nice. I'm definitely addicted. To drinking it and I'm not a big fan of kind of the herbally tea stuff. It always smells nice and then you taste it and you just think. But spearmint tea is beautiful. I do put um, one sweetener in it. I can drink it without but I just prefer it with one sweetener and it just kind of takes that herbal edge off it and oh, it's amazing. It's supposed to be good if you suffer with acne, um, it's good at regulating hormones, there's like a whole list of reasons why it's fabulous. And I have noticed the difference since I've been drinking it. I literally noticed the difference within about 48 hours, but I'll probably save that for another video because there's a whole story that surrounds the reason why I'm drinking this. Oh, so nice. Anyway, another reason why I wanted to jump on and talk to you this morning is I have been using this moisturizer. It's a new one from Origins. This is their matte moisturizer with willow herb. 
And this is the smaller size. I think I picked this up for like 13.50 from Feel Unique. After a degree of going back and forth with one of their really helpful customer service people online because it was one of these offers that came up on the checkout just as I was checking out some pick and mix stuff. This was actually a couple of weeks ago now. And it said, hey, add this to your cart for only 13.50. And I thought, oh, that's not bad. But whenever I added it to my cart, it put it up for, I think, the full price, which was actually only £15. So it wasn't like a massive saving. And I was just having real problems. But they added 150 discount to uh, my account. And I managed to check it out in the end. This whole process took an hour, by the way. It was an absolute nightmare. But I've been really enjoying using this moisturiser and I'm now seeing it everywhere on Instagram and stuff because I didn't realise it was new. I just thought this had been around for a while because I'm not really up on Origins stuff. I'd like to be, but the only thing I've really tried is the charcoal mask, I think, the sort of cult charcoal mask that they do. But I thought that this was a good price and you do get quite a lot. It's like a lovely kind of gel. And there's the actual label. So you may well have seen, if you're active on social media and stuff, you may well have seen this being mentioned because I feel like it's everywhere. And I didn't even realise it was a new thing. What I like about it is when you put it on, it feels really refreshing, whether that's the willow herb in it, I'm not sure. You can actually put quite a lot on as well, which when you've got oily skin, you tend to not put too much moisturiser on for fear of overdoing it. But you can actually put quite a lot on. And it's dried already. My skin feels unbelievably smooth. It feels fresh. It feels really nice. But it feels moisturised. But it's just like the oddest texture. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's actually not very expensive either. So I've been really liking this moisturiser. And it's supposed to like... Minimise your pores and make your skin just look a lot nicer. I mean, I'm not sure if I'd go quite that far to say that it manages that on my skin. But it does seem to tighten things a little bit and make pores a little bit less visible. And makeup goes on really nicely over the top of it as well. I'll probably do another catch-up later on today because I'm conscious of the fact that I get distracted talking to you guys and then suddenly... I don't have any time and like I said we've got to go to the doctors this morning. I think I will end this segment here but I will catch up with you later on in the day and we'll have a proper kind of end of month roundup because oh my goodness it's February ending on such a high and I cannot wait to tell you why and that rhymed. So I'm out walking the dog, it's freezing, and it's actually just started to snow, but I can't see any clouds anywhere, so do you need clouds to snow? I have no idea. It's probably not going to show up because it's tiny, tiny snow, but it's still snowing nonetheless, it's so exciting. We actually have snow, this is the back garden, and this is our garden furniture just kind of stacked up in the way. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I am so happy to see it. Oh, holy cow, it's cold outside today. Just got back in from walking the dog. I've no idea what time it is because my battery died on my iPhone because apparently when it's cold, it drains your battery really quickly. I can't even talk properly, I'm that cold. Oh my god, my face is frozen. It feels like it's going to fall off. It's currently snowing outside, but it's not going to show up on camera because it's like proper baby, baby snow. But my face is freezing. What a day. What an end 
to February, I'm gonna go get myself warmed up. Might have hot chocolate, it's that kind of weather I think, isn't it? And I will catch up with you guys properly a bit later on in the day. Maybe it will be snowing a bit heavier, you never know. So it is actually snowing right now. This is so exciting. I love the snow. Who doesn't love a dusting of beautiful white stuff everywhere? And I'm hoping that maybe later on, I'll be able to get some footage for you showing what the countryside looks like when it's all white, because I know at least one of you, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, but someone commented on a previous vlog of mine saying how nice it would be to see the countryside where I am covered in snow. Hopefully, we might be able to get some of that footage because it is actually snowing on the last day in February. How awesome is that? Well, I wasn't expecting this to arrive today. Just had a knock on the door from the postie who was in his shorts in spite of the fact that it is freezing outside and it's a sale order from Fat Face, which is amazing. I only ordered this, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. So this is very welcome because there's some hopefully really nice warm things in here, which I could really do with right now. So here's my haul. I've just had a bit of a try on sesh quickly. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep everything, although this jumper that I'm wearing, which I'll show you in a second, I am keeping because I really like it. But I've got a really snuggly warm cardigan. This is so soft. So I think this one will be staying. This is staying. Fat Face do really nice loungewear. And I've already got this top in just plain grey. And I really like it. And when I saw that they had it in this starry print then I had to get it because it's so soft and it's warm, but it's really thin. So if you want to wear it to bed, which I actually did with my other one last night because I was so cold, then you can because it is quite thin. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so unbelievably soft. I love it. Then I've got this cardigan, which I saw online and I do like. It's one of these ones where it's got a couple of like poppers where it drapes and you can't really see from me putting it on the bed what it actually does. But it's got pockets as well, which I didn't realise it was going to have pockets. I'll see if I can, I can lay that out in a minute so you can see it a bit better. And then the last thing I got was this jumper dress combo, which I was thinking about for work. So it's inside out at the moment because I've literally just tried this on. So you get this uh, like shift dress which is quite nice. It's sort of below the knee length. And then you can either wear that on its own or with a blazer or with a cardi or whatever. And then on the top of it, there's this jumper that goes with it, which has got a little bit of a kind of, I don't know, would you call that a herringbone slightly or something? I'm not sure. Um, it's very short. It's very short. I wouldn't wear this jumper on its own probably with jeans because it is quite short. But it's quite cool because on the back you've got this split here which just hangs really nicely and it just makes it a little bit more interesting really. So I don't know, I might try it on later properly with some tights instead of just trying to put it on over my jeans and see how that looks. But this is the jumper that I am gonna be keeping as well as a couple of other things that I picked up as well. I've had my eye on this jumper for the longest time and I thought to myself, if it goes in the sale, it's gotta be done. It's really nice, it's a lovely color, it's really warm and it's got a bit of a like a texture to it, which I really quite like. But it's quite thin, it's not too thick, so I've actually got a vest on underneath this just to try and keep me that little bit extra snuggly today because it's so cold. Um, but yeah, I really like this, I think it looks quite nice. So very happy with those sale purchases. And right now outside, it's beautiful, brilliant sunshine and blue skies. The snow has stopped for the moment. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous today, so I'll see if I can get some nice countryside snowy footage for you.
so it's the end of the day the boy is in the bath and I have left this final little chat far too late in the day because it's very dark and it's all artificial lighting and it probably looks horrible right now I am wearing another item from the fat face sale stuff that I got unfortunately I think a lot of it is going to go back which is good in a way because I did spend quite a lot of money that I shouldn't be spending right now but I did buy a work dress which is going to go back it's okay but the jumpery thing that goes over the top is too short and it just does nothing for me at all so I will be taking that all back at some point um, but yeah I'm keeping this I'm keeping the green jumper because that's gorgeous and I'm keeping a very warm cardigan as well because I really could do with something like that and the rest of it is going to go back so yeah February oh my goodness has just been such a roller coaster of a month I cannot begin to really put that into words we've had so much go on personally in our lives and a lot of it is still not finished we have still got um, my father-in-law and his heart operation which was due to have taken place by now but it's actually been postponed until the beginning of March so not massively postponed but just postponed a little bit um, so that's still happening and fingers crossed all of my work stuff is all good now I left yesterday and I actually felt a lot more positive about everything so that's a big relief and oh yes I did give you a little bit of a hint this morning didn't I about February ending on a really positive note and I'm still in two minds as to whether I want to reveal what's going on just purely because not many people actually know and there's people in our family that still don't know so I probably shouldn't say anything should I Yeah, I think I've just made my mind up that probably I shouldn't say anything. I know that's really awful, isn't it? Because I teased you guys this morning and said that I couldn't wait to tell you. And now I'm still not going to tell you. Ah, <sighs> life. I will tell you at some point. But like I said, it's not like all of the family know yet. And I just feel a bit guilty, I guess. It's nothing really major. I'm not pregnant that would be a disaster um, but you guys could probably work it out to be fair anyway I think it sounds like it's my turn in the bathroom so I'm gonna end February right here and now I don't know what we're gonna wake up to tomorrow we could be waking up to potentially I think they've said 10 to 20 centimeters of snow so I have no idea what to expect but you will see in March's uh, highlights and I'll probably mention it in other videos anyway but yeah that's it for February I'm quite pleased that it's over because like I said it's been quite the month uh, for lots of different reasons lots of positives lots of sad moments as well lots of very difficult and challenging times and I'm just looking forward to March being a really, really positive and fantastic month. So let me know what you guys have been getting up to and I will see you soon. Bye.